Well, now we have a comeback story that is certainly making San Diego proud. As a single mom, Teresa Cher used to have trouble making ends meet. After spending some time as an exotic dancer, she eventually started working as an escort. Well, she hit rock bottom, and she was able to turn her life all around while discovering a new purpose. Teresa now runs a Bible study to help others who find themselves in a similar situation to what she experienced. As we mentioned, um, she is making San Diego proud. Teresa Sher is joining us live in studio with her story and how she is now literally saving the lives of other young women. I'm not sure if you thought Hi. of your work like that, Teresa, but no. that is literally what you're doing out there. I mean, I'm just doing my part and letting God do the rest. So. Well, uh, your work is inspiring to say the least, but let's give a little backstory here. Sure. Um, Renee Cohn talked to you and, and did an incredible story on you, which, by the way, is on our website. But to let our viewers know, um, you said you grew up in a tough childhood. Yeah, there's alcoholism and, you know, just child neglect with uh, relatives, stuff like that. So, yeah, I did grow up in a dysfunctional home. And a lot of times when that happens, um, young women and even young men tend to look for support somewhere, love somewhere. And unfortunately for you, uh, it ended up in a bad marriage mm -hmm. and then ultimately into it, the world of exotic dancing and being an escort. At one point, you were making, I heard, ten to $30,000 a month yeah. working in that business. Yeah, 30000 was like a really good month, but it happened. And then it's hard to quit that once that starts to happen. But you were able to do that. And I think I wanted to ask you, how were you able? Was it one morning you woke up? Did somebody talk to you? How were you inspired to say, I can't do this anymore? Well, I had to hit a rock bottom. I just was not fulfilled by the money. And I just kind of found myself alone in a hotel room. And that's when I kind of cried out to God and called my dad. And, um, you know, I just decided enough was enough. You know, I had had enough of that lifestyle. You had enough of that lifestyle. So yeah. it just it takes that minute, that moment of looking in the mirror and saying, "What have I done? What is this? What am I doing?" Definitely, I couldn't even look in the mirror anymore. I was definitely like lost and um, didn't know who I was. Yeah, and so uh, now you have done a 180, and your life yes. is incredible <laughs> now. Tell us what you're doing now. Well, I'm a mom and a wife, and um, I lead a ministry at the Rock Church with my best friend Sherry Brown. And um, we just go out to strip clubs, and we just let the girls know that we've been in their shoes, and there's another way. We don't tell them they have to stop, but we say, hey, we love you right where you're at. And what is the response? They're so kind and just grateful that we're there and that we understand them, you know. Yeah, and are you able to see a difference in these women's lives? I know that you're actually helping to lead a Bible study where mm -hmm. these women are coming. They're walking away from the strip club, and they're coming. They're opening up their Bibles and sharing their stories. And tell me about, about these women and the difference that this is making. You know, I said that if we could just help one girl get her life changed, that would be enough. And there's just been so many girls that have come through the, the doors, and now they're moms, and they have careers, and um, their lives are 180s too, and it's just so rewarding. One thing that I, I just adore about you is that you're not afraid to tell your story. Um, and you do have, I think you said a 14-year-old and a toddler. I do. And, mm -hmm. um, and even with kids in those vulnerable age groups, you're not afraid to say, I've made mistakes, but I'm making it right. And, and how has that been empowering to you? Well, I don't have to hide. I don't have to feel ashamed about my past. I can actually use it for good to help another woman. So it's like freeing, and it, it actually gives me... Um, purpose and it makes me feel like confident about who I am and who I was. And your kids and your husband must be so proud of you. Yeah, my husband didn't like me speaking about everything at first, but um, I do it respectfully, you know, and with him and my family in mind. So Absolutely. let's just uh, let you just have the last few seconds here. If there are women out there who maybe are wrapped up in one of these industries, what do you want to say to them? I just want to tell them that God loves them wherever they're at, and there's hope for them no matter how low that they, they go in their lives. You know, they can turn around. I mean, I'm living proof. If I can do it, they can. It's never too late. Never. Teresa Unless Sher. you're in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good point that's, to make. Yeah, Absolutely. that's where you don't want to be. Yeah. So. Uh, Teresa Sher, Making San Diego Proud. Thank you so Thank much you for coming so in and for much, sharing Heather. your story and for all the good work you do in our community. Thank you. Thanks.